Let's see about nasal polypi. Nasal polypi, these are non neoplastic and edematous masses of the nasal mucosa or the sinus mucosa. So they are the non neoplastic and edematous masses of the nasal or sinus mucosa. There are two types of nasal polyps one is anthrocoinal polyp, and second is ethmoidal polyp. The anthrocoinal polyp arises most commonly from the maxillary sinus and as the name suggests the ethmoidal polyp arises from the ethmoid sinus mucosa. So these are the two types of nasal polyps anthrocoinal and ethmoidal polyp. First let's see about the anthrocoinal polyp. This anthrocoinal polyp is also called as Killian's polyp. This constitutes of three parts, the antral part, coanal part and the nasal part. So from the diagram, we can appreciate the three parts of anthrocoinal polyp, the antral part, the coanal part and the nasal part. The etiology of anthrocoinal polyp most commonly it arises due to infection of the sinus that is sinusitis and anthrocoinal polyp is more commonly seen in children and young adults. It is single and unilateral in nature. This is the etiology. Coming to the signs and symptoms. The presenting symptom is unilateral nasal obstruction with nasal discharge which is of mucoid consistency. The voice becomes dull and thick due to hyponasality because of nasal obstruction. So the presenting symptom is nasal obstruction which is unilateral in nature, nasal discharge and voice becomes dull and thick due to hyponasality. This anthrocoinal polyp grows posteriorly into the coana. When it grows posteriorly, it may not be seen under anterior rhinoscopy. Then posterior rhinoscopy is performed, which shows globular mass filling the coana or the nasopharynx. X-ray paranasal sinus lateral view can be taken and non-contrast CT scan can also be taken for diagnosis. Treatment. Treatment of anthrocoinal polyp includes course of antibiotics followed by FES that is functional endoscopic sinus surgery. FES stands for functional endoscopic sinus surgery. This is about the anthrocoinal polyp. Coming to the ethmoidal polyp, the etiology for ethmoidal polyp are allergy, inflammatory conditions of nasal mucosa like rhinosinusitis, cystic fibrosis, asthma, chronic rhinosinitis, and aspirin intolerance. These three together form the Samter's triad. Asthma, chronic rhinosinusitis and aspirin intolerance. The other etiologies include Cartagena syndrome, Young syndrome and Churg strauss syndrome. These ethmoidal polyps are more common in adults. They are bilateral and multiple in contrast to the anthrocoinal polyp which were unilateral and single. Symptoms of ethmoidal polyp. These are more common in adults and they are multiple in nature. They cause total nasal obstruction, anosmia, sneezing and watery nasal discharge and there can be a mass protruding from the nostril. Investigation on anterior rhinoscopy. There can be a smooth glistening grape like masses often pale in color and they are bilateral. CT scan can also be done. 
the treatment treatment includes antihistaminics and steroids and fes fes stands for functional endoscopic sinus surgery antihistaminics steroids and fes Now let's see the differences between the anterocoinal polyp and the ethmoidal polyp. Anterocoinal polyp is more common in children whereas the ethmoidal polyps are more common in adults. Etiology, most common etiology for anterocoinal polyp is infection whereas the most common etiology for ethmoidal polyp is allergy. Anterocoinal polyp is solitary and unilateral. whereas the ethmoidal polyps are bilateral and multiple in anterocoinal polyp the maxillary sinus near ostium is involved whereas in ethmoidal polyp it arises from the ethmoidal sinuses anterocoinal polyp grows backwards into the coena whereas the ethmoidal polyp grows anteriorly from the ethmoidal sinus anteriorly into the nasal cavity Anterocoinal polyp is trilobe, whereas the ethmoidal polyp is grape-like. The anterocoinal polyp does not recur, so there is no recurrence, whereas there is recurrence seen with ethmoidal polyp. Treatment for both is FES, functional endoscopic sinus surgery, which is the definitive treatment. for both anterocoinal polyp and the ethmoidal polyp so this is in brief about the nasal polypi let's have a quick recap nasal polypi are non neoplastic edematous masses of the nasal or sinus mucosa there are two types anterocoinal polyp arising from maxillary sinus and ethmoidal polyp arising from the ethmoidal sinus mucosa Anterocoinal polyp also called Killian's polyp which has three parts antral coenal and nasal etiology most common is due to sinus infection more common in children they are single and unilateral signs and symptoms there is unilateral obstruction discharge and voice changes and this anterocoinal polyp grows posteriorly treatment is antibiotics followed by fes function endoscopic sinus surgery Next the ethmoidal polyp most common etiology is allergy this is the most common etiology others are rhinosinusitis cystic fibrosis samter's triad cartagena syndrome young syndrome and chirk straw syndrome the samter triad is a triad including asthma chronic rhinosinusitis and aspirin intolerance ethmoidal polyps are more common in adults they are bilateral and multiple in nature symptoms more common in adults and there are multiple there's total nasal obstruction anosmia sneezing watery nasal discharge and mass in the nostril anterior rhinoscopy there's smooth glistening grape like mass often pale in color and they are bilateral treatment antihistaminics steroids and fes functional endoscopic sinus surgery and this is the overall difference between the anterocoinal polyp and the ethmoidal polyp eight points anterocoinal polyp in children ethmoidal polyp in adults anterocoinal polyp most commonly due to infection and ethmoidal polyp due to allergy anterocoinal polyp are solitary unilateral ethmoidal polyp are multiple bilateral anterocoinal polyp arises from the maxillary sinus near ostium ethmoidal polyp from the ethmoidal sinus anterocoinal polyp grows backwards ethmoidal polyp grows anteriorly anterocoinal polyp is trilobe ethmoidal polyp is grape like and recurrence is rare with anterocoinal polyp whereas recurrence is common with ethmoidal polyp and treatment for both the definitive treatment is fes functional endoscopic sinus surgery this is all about the nasal polypi thank you